Hawaii is one of the most interesting states in the United States. It's about 2,000 miles from its closest state, California, making it the furthest state from any other. It's also the only state consisting of just islands. But even more interesting is Hawaii's climate. Hawaii has nearly every type of climate in the world, having 10 of the 14 climate zones. And in this video, I'll be explaining why. To start, this is a map of Hawaii's climate, and it shows a lot. First, let's talk about the tundra area. You wouldn't think that Hawaii has many cold areas, but you'd be wrong. Because of Mauna Kea's altitude, it can have some snow at times. The volcano actually gets so much snow that you can even ski on it sometimes. Sometimes, Mauna Kea even looks like this. That is just one of Hawaii's 10 climate zones, and also all of what are known as the ice climates in Hawaii. That type of ice climate is called a paraglacial climate. Hawaii is missing the other of the ice climates, the polar ice cap subcategory of the ice climates. The following major climate zones are the cold continental climates, which Hawaii has none of. This is where three of Hawaii's missing climate zones come from, finishing the climate zones Hawaii doesn't have, and it's pretty obvious why. Cold continental climates are areas with colder and longer winters with more snow, which Hawaii doesn't have. Now that we're done explaining the climate zones Hawaii doesn't have, let's talk about the ones it has. We'll start with the humid tropical climates. First up in the humid tropical climates is the tropical continuously wet climate. This climate includes areas with warm temperatures and common rainfall, so basically a rainforest. Hawaii has multiple rainforests, so it's easy to tell why it has this climate. Next up is the tropical winter dry climate. In this climate, it's dry in the winter and rains in the summer, if you couldn't tell that from the name. In Hawaii, this climate zone is mostly located in an area called the Kona Coffee Farm Belt. Anyways, the next climate is the tropical summer day. This climate is in areas with a lot of rainfall during the winter. During the summer, though, it can be hot. In Hawaii, this climate is mainly located in the northernmost and southernmost points of the island. The next and final climate in the humid tropical climates is the tropical monsoon. Tropical monsoons usually have lots of rainfall with just a short dry season. This climate is pretty rare around the world, and only a few places have it. Even in Hawaii, this climate is sparse. Hawaii only has a small strip of land in the north with this climate. And those are all of the humid tropical climates in Hawaii, where they are and what classifies them. Next are the arid and semi-arid climates. There are only two climates in the arid and semi-arid climates. The first is the hot semi-desert. These are usually just hot areas with little rainfall. In Hawaii, these are in an area called the South Kohala coastline. The other climate in this category, the hot desert, could be described using its name. It's all the classifications the hot semi-desert had, but more extreme. It has to have even less rainfall and even hotter temperatures. In Hawaii, this climate is located here, and it is Hawaii's hottest and driest climate. Anyways, those are all of the arid and semi-arid climates in Hawaii. There is one more category that we haven't discussed yet, and it's the temperate climates. The first of these climates is the continuously wet warm climate. This is classified as a climate with little annual rainfall and four months of temperatures averaging between 50 and 72 degrees. This type of climate is located in the middle of Hawaii and is one of the less popular climates to visit on the island. The following climate is the summer dry warm temperate climate. This climate has dry summers and rainy winters, as the name would imply. This climate is located even closer to the center of Hawaii. And the final climate we will be discussing in this video is the summer dry cool temperate climate. This climate has average monthly temperatures below 50 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's pretty cold. This makes sense, as most of this climate is here, which, as we discussed very early in the video, is very close to Hawaii's coldest climate, where it sometimes even snows. Anyways, those are all of Hawaii's climates. In total, Hawaii has 10 of the world's 14 climates. The only ones it's missing are the very cold ones. If you liked this video, you might want to join my Discord server, where you can suggest video ideas for some of my future videos. And you also might want to subscribe to my second channel, where I'll be uploading more videos. And with that, thanks for watching.